When I first saw and held the EOS C70, it felt like, yeah, I can have fun with this. A small but mighty camera. I can make it my camera, you know, so I had fun with it. The size was interesting, because when I had Cine camera, I assumed something as big as the C300, for example. Well, it wasn't that big, it was light. I noticed the buttons as well on the sides and I thought, great, they're not spread out too far all over the camera. I could put my hand around the grip and reach some. The media button being on top, love that. The Canon EOS C70 felt like a very collaborative tool. I would look for something and it was there. It would meet me at my point of need. This is nice. This looks really good, I'm excited. And action. I needed to make sure people got the full essence of all the color palettes that we were gonna work with. I've been a huge fan of Canon's color science on day one. So when I saw the C-Log3, I was really impressed, but also seeing all the Rec. 709 lot on top, I said, yeah, perfect. My first reaction to the 120 FPS was how clean it was. What? Ah. I was impressed. There was more wonder, like what else can it do? It was amazing because I like focus pulls and I could literally make them happen by just touching the screen. You could touch a point on the screen and it would focus on that. The AF face tracking feature on the ESC70, it took a lot of work off my hands. It just kept Sophia in focus all the time. I see the EOS C70 adding a lot of production value. There's no limit on the camera in terms of what I think I could do with it. There is no content I couldn't shoot. The first people I would recommend this camera to are solo shooters, shooting directors for sure. People that work in documentary, people that work in short film, and people that work in music videos. This camera's for you.